guys. Hope you're having fun this week. I've got some fun things to do for you that we've um, that we're doing to help you get to know the Lord better. And um, just want you to know that this week we're trying to um, emphasize that we want to please Jesus. And we'll get into that more in a minute. Let's go ahead and do our verse like we usually do at the beginning of class. Um, Remember, it's Luke 19, 10. For the Son of Man came to seek and save those who are lost. So you should have a packet of your verses in, um, in with your Sunday school materials that you picked up. You can go ahead and put those out in order of the verse. And um, just go ahead and instead of erasing like we normally do and trying to say it with a couple of the words erased, go ahead and turn the words over. Um, just two maybe at a time and say it and then two more at a time and say it and keep doing that until all the words are gone and you can say the verse. So, um, and then next week will be our last week on this verse. So next week I will have something for you if you sing the whole thing on your own. So make sure you practice that. Another alternative to this is... Um, that you can like go outside and maybe skip rope and say the words as you're skipping rope or doing something like that. Um, that's fine too if you'd rather not use the, the cards. Either one or both. Okay, so let's go ahead and we will pray before we get started with the lesson. And remember that if you agree, say amen. Lord, we thank you so much for keeping us all safe and well. And we just pray that you would help us um, to learn from your word this morning. In Jesus' name, amen. Okay, last week we talked about the lost sheep and the shepherds and how Jesus is our shepherd and how we're the sheep. Um, we're going to talk about something lost today too, a woman and her lost coins that Jesus told us about. And that is in Luke, Luke 15. Um, so if you can, turn to Luke 15, verses 8 to 10. And let's go over, let's see. Where is Luke in the Bible? New Testament or Old Testament? Go ahead and tell me. Okay, if you guess New Testament, you're right. Let's go ahead. Matthew, Mark, Luke. So Luke is the third one. And we talked about that, how Matthew, Mark, Luke, and John was from when Jesus was on the earth. And this is one of the stories that he told, okay? So let's go ahead and read it real quick. Or suppose a woman who has 10 silver coins and loses one. Doesn't she light a lamp, sweep the house, and search carefully until she finds it? And when she finds it, she calls her friends and neighbors together and says, Rejoice with me. I have lost my lost, or I have found my lost coin. In the same way, I tell you, there is rejoicing in the presence of angels of God over one sinner who repents. So, I have a paper in your packet that has the outsides of coins on. So you can make your own money this morning and you go ahead and get out your markers or your crayons that we gave you last week and um, go ahead and fill in all your coins and then you're going to cut them out and um, you're going to go ahead and hide them. The Well, can have like the youngest person in your house hide them and then all of you can go and try to find them all. So go ahead and do that. The story is about what? A woman who has 10 coins and she loses one. Tell me about something that you lost, something valuable. Okay, so um, I'll tell you about something I lost. Um, I actually lost one of my kids one time. That is real. That's even worse than, than losing money. Losing money, especially if you don't have much, can be really bad. Maybe that was money that she needed for food or something like that, okay? So that would be very important, wouldn't it? Okay, but as a parent, if I lost my son, that would be 
just awful. That's something that, that actually happened when one of them was little before. So anyway, what I want you to do, go ahead. Um, now, you, you went ahead and found the coins. What was it like for you to search your coins? Search for the coins. Um, in the Bible story that Jesus told, the woman did what you did. Looked all over, everywhere for her coin. She even turned on all the lights, and she swept with a broom, trying to find her lost coin she cleaned. So have you ever found something that was really valuable? Maybe some money on the ground? Um, I think I found a $50 bill one time. And that was crazy. It was something very valuable. And I can only imagine how badly the person who lost it would feel. But I was really excited about it. We, found, we couldn't find the owner. So it was really excited. We had found $50. So that was awesome. But Jesus said then that the woman told all her friends about it. That she had found the coin. She was so excited because it was very valuable to her. Jesus loves us so much too. Because we are very valuable to him. Just like you're valuable to your parents. Okay? And he is happy when we follow him. And when we do what we're supposed to. When that sheep, we talked about sheep last week, when all the sheep gets lost and he went after the one sheep. Okay, he was concerned about the sheep, wasn't he? He knew that that sheep needed to stay with him to stay safe. And that's like us. We need to follow him to stay safe. So we need to want to please Jesus and do what he tells us. He knows best, doesn't he? Okay, so the next activity. Um... Let's go see, how can we please Jesus? Well, there's a few verses that I thought that I would share with you that might help us. Um, Galatians 6, 2 says to carry each other's burdens, and in this way you will fulfill the law of Christ. Because that's loving each other. The law of Christ that he's talking about is the one that we're supposed to love each other. And carrying each other's burdens means helping them through. Ephesians 6, 1 says, Children, obey your parents in the Lord, for this is right. That's very important too, isn't it? That pleases Jesus because your pa he's put you, your parents over you. Also, Ephesians 4, 2 says, Be completely humble and gentle. Be patient, bearing with one another in love. That talks about how we're supposed to treat each other, doesn't it? Okay. Um, but it can be hard sometimes, can it? Uh, he gave us these words so that we can kind of know how, okay? Um, so, we're going to help you to talk about your friends about what pleases Jesus. I want you to take a piece of paper, just any piece of paper, like out of the notebook we had last, actually two pieces of paper, and on one you're going to do a happy face, and on another one you're going to do a sad face, Okay? So go ahead and do that. You can turn it off and then come back. Um, so then, if maybe you have your mom or dad turn on some music, and this is sort of going to be like musical chairs. Put some chairs in a little circle. Um, and then put your, put your happy face and sad faces on the chairs. So anybody who's playing needs to have one of the happy faces and sad faces. So we have enough to, to do all the chairs, okay? And then turn on the music and go around and then somebody stops the music and you all sit down. So then what do we want to, what you want to do is to go ahead and if you get a happy face, you want to talk about something that pleases Jesus, okay? Tell them something that pleases Jesus. And if you get a sad face, then you have to tell and share something that would not please Jesus. So just go around your chairs and do that. And then you can do that a few times. And uh, when you um, are tired of doing that, you can come back and we'll, do, we'll talk about it a little bit. So what are some of the things that you and your partners talked about? What sticks in your mind? How do you know what makes Jesus happy or sad? Hmm. Well, he tells us in his Bible, right? In his word. 
So we have to read that to know, right? Okay, and then also, if you've accepted, if you've repented of your sins and have accepted Jesus, then you have the Holy Spirit in your heart. And if you listen to him, he will help you to know what's going to please him and what's not. We're so valuable to him that he doesn't want to see all the hurt that our sin causes. He doesn't want to see all the bad things that would happen to us happen. It's just like your parents. They tell you a lot of things for your own good and your own safety. So he's just like that. Matter of fact, he calls us his children and he's our father in the Bible. So we're very valuable to him and we need to make sure that we're following him like the sheep follow the shepherd and we're doing what he says. Okay, so that's the lesson for this week. Um, the uh, take-home paper, I went ahead and your little take-home card, I blew it up big because it was so tiny that it was going to be hard for you to do. So, this is your take-home paper, and it says, Challenge your family members to find all the coins hidden in the mess, mess below. And then you answer the question, what helped you to find the coins? Okay, so what I want you to do is go ahead and take, and um, maybe you can see, you and another member of your family can see who could find them all first, okay? Or I'll find so many in a certain amount of time. That would make it fun, wouldn't it? So you go ahead and do that. And then also this week, um, I had a few of these left from when I gave them out before. So those are just fun for you to do. I just put those out there so you could have them. So, well, I'm praying that you have a good week and um, thinking about each one of you and praying for you. And um, if you need to call me and talk to me or ask, have any questions, you can. Uh, my number is 3981099. Thanks.